Hi all. I am very excited with the new Flux 2 that has just been released. After some very short time of tinkering, I was able to run the FP8 model, which is 35 gigabytes in size on my dual GPU rig. Today, I will share both the settings I use for the FP8 version and also the Q4 GGUF version of the model. The GGUF model runs smoothly on my 12 gigabytes VRM card. Yes, even its size is still huge, almost 20 gigabytes. I was able to squeeze it onto the memories with very decent sampling times. Okay, let's take a quick look at the workflow. But first, let's see where we can download all required models. Again, here in the red node, I have listed the links I use for all the models. This time, Flux only needs one single clip. However, please bear in mind that most of the models are very large in size. I haven't tried the, the Q2 version yet, as I was already very impressed by the Q4 model when I tested it. And yes, it will run on just 12 gigabytes of VRAM, of course with CPU offloading. Here is the image reference part. It basically is for referencing only. If you want ref images, just enable these nodes. But for now, I will just show how I ran a simple text to image generation. I will use GGUF Q4 with 15 gigabytes of virtual memory offloading onto RAM. These settings are crucial for my successful operation with just 12 gigabytes of VRAM. I will also offload the GGUF clip and VAE models onto CPU as I am very tight with my VRAM. Here is the basic optimization part that I usually use. The Sage thing is always disabled on this rig, won't work, but works well on the other PC, so I leave it there. Another crucial thing that I found is that EasyCache occasionally screws up my generations when I set the threshold at default value of 0.25, so I tried with 0.1 and it worked great. Okay, let's run this workflow. Here I also have included test prompts that I have asked ChatGPT for Flux 2 testing. Oh, and by the way, you need to update both ComfyUI and all core and custom nodes before you can run Flux 2. I find that the output of my previous tests are amazing, even with just a Q4 quantized model. And here we go. No out of memory errors. The workflow loads 80% of models to CPU memory. Here you can see that peak VRAM usage has maxed out. Runtime is okay, quality is pretty neat. I sometimes run into OOM errors on this PC, but after I rerun it, it will always work. We'll need to further optimize memory usage in the workflow. The overall look, in my opinion, is very good. Now, let's look at the results of the FP8 version of the model. I first tested with a small res of 544p and offloaded 10GB to RAM. Look at the VRAM consumption. 24GB has maxed out. And there you go, an OOM. So I changed offloading value from 10 to 15GB. And now it runs. Not bad. Let's try another prompt. and the results are here. The settings I use for the 1080p image gen is this. I needed to offload more so I had no choice but to offload them onto RAM since the other card has only 15 gigabytes left and I needed more. However, sampling time wasn't that bad. And that's it for this quick video. Again, there are lots of ways to go about running Comfy UI. I am merely sharing my initial experimentation. All comments are really always welcomed. Please enjoy Flux 2, even on low VRAM cards. Have a good day.